Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and copping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, my rock will maybe flip. It's easy, you never trip. Getting them early, you never miss. No bot, but if they have me get to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey, yo, what's good, Joe? It's your boy, Bobby Sneaker World, and I am back with another video um yeah so first of all shout out to everybody that follows me on ig y'all know that i do continue to post consistently on ig as far as like pickups and different things like that uh but my youtube page has gone almost radio silent and i have to stop it man like i i really have to um I'm I'm going to start getting back into it, honestly, because I feel like it's unfair that so many people have commented on older videos and DM me and different things like that, asking me where I've been, commenting on old videos. I appreciate people watching videos from a year ago, six months ago, last, you know, three months ago. Um, but me continuing to pick up sneakers, I done picked up 15 pairs of sneakers and that I haven't even reviewed on the channel. I haven't even talked about it, I haven't even posted a video. Um, and I don't think that that's fair to people that really, really rock with the content, man. So um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I want y'all to know that, man. Each and every one of y'all to continue to rock with my content. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of an early review today. And this is another me procrastinating. I wasn't gonna do a video, but like I said, I've been um, it's been weighing on me, man. Seeing the comments and seeing the DMs um, is pushing me to do this. This box is unopened. These were ordered on the 9th of June. Um, so I'm just now even cracking the box, let alone doing a video. So I have to do better, and I'm going to do better. Um, if you're new around here, the only thing that I ask is you hit the notification bell, man. If you like what you see, hit the notification bell so you can see more of it. Because um, I'm going to, I don't want people to come to my channel and then unsubscribe because it's like the channel is dead. Like, what am, what am I subscribed to? Like, he doesn't post anything. So, that's what we're going to do today. But with all that rambling out of the way, let's get into this unboxing. Let's see what we got. Um, now, these... I did not hit on personally. My cousin hit on Hibbit Sports, and it's not his size. So he he threw me the oop for, for retail. Um, so my dunk collection has went from zero to really not that bad. Like I got the Michigans, I got my Nike ID, I got uh the champ colors I have these now now the main reason that I wanted these it's a super simple clean colorway but not only that dunk highs were my first love literally my first love before it transitioned over to the Jordan 1 highs dunk highs were my first love but I fell out of love with it I just didn't like the shape and all that um, it's a little bit bulky and I like the more streamlined uh, cut of the Jordan 1 high but once he showed me that he had my size uh, I had to pull the trigger and I like the simple colorway and dunks are almost impossible to get your hands on so it's Nike Dunk High Retro White Game Royal Total Orange size 10 and a half I'll try to get you guys to see that if it'll focus for me there we go. And like I said, I got these for retail. Retail is $110, man. I couldn't beat it. Now, a lot of people are calling these the Dunk High Kentuckys. I guess the actual name is the Game Royal. I think this is like the third retro of this version of the Dunk High of the, in this colorway. Um, and I think originally it was worn for the Kentucky Wildcats. Yeah. And this colorway is dope. I'll set this right here. 
And like I said, man, it's just a simple, clean colorway. Now, the biggest thing that people have complained about, about all of these dunk releases, I don't even have the Michigans out. I refuse to have the Michigans anywhere near the rest of my sneakers. They have to be secluded in a closet. So they're over there in their own space. This is Buckeye Nation over here. You know, whenever I, they're over there. You know what I'm saying? They're not allowed to mingle with the rest of the sneakers. Uh, but I do have... My Syracuse, if you want to call those that. You know what I'm saying? Fire. I love wearing those. I do have uh, my Nike ID. Heineken inspired joints. Let me see if that'll focus so you get a good look at those beauties. Made by yours truly. Fire. Now, what a lot of people complain about, about all the dunks that have recently released is the quality and i can attest that it's not that great it's not but the same thing oh and i have the uh, unc's i don't even know where the hell i put them at they're back here somewhere hold on one second let's see if i can Ugh. sorry guys sorry sorry you know i'm out of practice on the videos you got these Shout out to uh, JD Sports for those beauties. So now the quality is nothing to write home about. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I believe that that's okay. Um, yes, they didn't, they're not killing it with the quality on the leather and all that stuff. But no one really cares when you're walking around. No one's like, man, the quality on your dunks. You know what I'm saying? The leather ain't tumbled like it. Like, what does your outfit look like? You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I think I would have probably switched these blue laces out for white laces. Just to give it an even cleaner look. But you can't go wrong with this royal blue and white sneaker. Like, there's nothing wrong with this sneaker. Like, it's not the greatest quality you'll ever see in your life. But, you know... It's clean. Throw some white laces in here. You got your all blue outsole. It looks extremely, almost identical. Probably is identical to a Jordan 1 high outsole. The shape of the uppers is a little... Like, I had so many dunk highs before, like, before my son was born. I didn't even think of it as being, like, a sneakerhead. Like, I just literally liked the sneaker because it came in five million colorways and i would and they were cheap and i had i had like 60 pairs and i sold all of them because i didn't think anything of it once i became a father i was like eh you know but now dunks are almost impossible to get your hands on y'all let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about these like i said this is a little bit of an early release uh review i believe that these release june 29th um but I'm glad I'm able to bring these. Shout out to my cousin Jay. Um, but I'm glad I'm able to show you the you guys these a little bit early. Um, my dunk collection is growing. And I also have the Concepts dunks, lows I hit on. Those still haven't shipped yet. I don't know what's taking so long. But I haven't even got a shipping. At least I got my confirmation that the order went through. So I'm just waiting on shipping. And they come when they come. Y'all got... I got a pile... I have a pile of boxes right here of sneakers that I haven't even opened. It's been sitting in here for like a month or more. Um, so I can't even complain about shipping delays when I don't even open the stuff that are, is already at the house. But anyway, this isn't going to be some long review. I'm not going to do it on foot right now just because I don't feel like it. Um, but y'all can let me know. Is this something y'all going to be going for on the 29th? Um, like I said, super clean, uh, clean colorway. Very, very simple. Don't get caught up in the quality uh conversation you know what I'm saying? it'd be different if it was just like terrible it's just not the best but the colorways can save some uh quality control issues like it's just the materials that they're using um so like these aren't the best but i turn heads every time i throw these on because of the color blocking so 
just be able to finesse your outfits, put something nice on, and just go get a, and get out the house and enjoy your sneakers, man. Oh, and I think on the insole, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but this is where the, you don't see any orange, but it says it on the label. Inside the insole down there, the Nike branding is in the orange. Other than that, that's it. Your uh, Dunk Highs Game Royal Kentuckys. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to try to be more consistent. <laughs> Ovi!